Hey, yo, what's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we have this, uh, this line integral problem, and it wants us to uh, figure out. Um, so it gives us this path of a particle moving from zero, zero. Let's go ahead and draw this. Zero, zero, two, uh, not that way, to a one, zero, two, zero, one, and then back to zero, zero. So it goes this way. And what you can find is that this is a closed, simple curve that goes in the counterclockwise direction. What do we know about that? Well, we know that Green's theorem says that instead of just solving this the normal way, what you'd have to take three line integrals, it's actually going to be equal to the double integral of this region of del q del y, or del x minus del p del y, the air, uh, derivative of the area. So this is going to be way easier to solve than solving it, you know, because you have to set three line integrals, and you have to, uh, if this is a nasty function, it'd be pretty nasty. So we're going to do it this way. So this is going to be equal to our, uh, this is p, and this is q, right? So of course we just need to find dq with respect to x and dp with respect to y. So about this, so derivative of q with respect to x is going to be this with respect to x, it's going to be y squared, and the derivative of p with respect to y is going to be, uh, so it's going to be x squared plus xy, so it's just going to be x, right? So that's pretty simple. And uh, now we have to define our region, which is pretty easy, I mean we did this a lot, right? So this is going to be, uh, this line is going to be y is equal to negative uh, x plus 1, or if you want to write it the other way, it's going to be x is equal to negative y plus 1. So let's set up our integral now. So our integral, well, let's see, how do we want to solve this? I'm thinking I'm going to want to solve this with respect to x first, because this x is going to be a lot simpler than, you know, ending up with a big y at 3. So it's going to be from, so it's going to be y squared minus x from our formula here. We're going to do dx dy. So dx goes from 0 to negative y plus 1, and y goes from 0 to 1. So this is our double integral, and we can solve it. So i is equal to, I'm going to skip a couple steps because uh, I'm sure you guys know how to do integration by now. So this is going to, there's going to be an x here, so it's going to be negative y to the third plus uh, y squared, right? And then it's going to become x squared over 2, so minus 1 half. So it's this squared, it's going to be y squared minus 2y plus 1 dy. So let's simplify this. Oof. I'm going to solve it one more time. All right. So let's simplify this. So y to the third. So let's see, we have uh, y to the 1 half minus 1 half y. So it's going to be plus 3y squared over 2, right? And then we're going to have a minus y. So that's going to be plus y, and then a minus one half dy. All right, so we can integrate this now. Ooh, shoot, I just got that off of my pants. That was unfortunate, but it's all good. All right, so let's bring it up. Boom, up here. Integral is equal to, all right, so let's do negative y to the fourth over four plus y to the third over two plus one half y squared minus one half y from zero to one, of course. This is not that hard to solve. This is gonna be negative one fourth plus one half plus one half. I missed a negative somewhere. Oh, hold up. Maybe I didn't. I probably did though. I know I didn't. I know I didn't. Minus one half. Okay, I still missed something somewhere. Guys, it's been a long day. I've done so much freaking calculus today. Uh, okay, this is obviously not bad. This is just this. And then this is going to become over 6. Good thing for pattern recognition, am I right? I've solved this problem a lot now, so I know I did something wrong. So these are going to cancel out. Boom, I knew it. So then it's going to be negative 6 over 24 plus 4 over 24, which is equal to negative 2 over 24 or negative 1 over 12. That's your final answer. Pay attention to your numbers, guys, because I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know how I messed that up. But yeah, that's your answer. That's how you solve these kind of calculus problems. Line integrals, just use Green's theorem if you can. Look how much easier this was. Imagine if you had to set up three integrals. I'd be here for like the next 30 minutes solving this, so you got many integrals. I'm glad I didn't do that. So yeah, that's how you solve these problems uh, using Green's theorem. Uh, yeah. Stick around, subscribe if you want to learn some more calculus three.